wako jioni ya leo tunasema asante kwa fadhili na rehema zako bwana tunakushukuru hata kwa sababu ya neema na kibali bwana ambacho umetukirimia hata kuingia nyumbani mwako jioni ya leo ili bwana kaweze kuhudumia maisha yetu asante mama hata leo kwa na neno la uzima na neno la wakati kwa sababu ya maisha yetu tunashukuru na kulibariki jina lako asante kwa mkate huu ambao umeuandaa kwa sababu ya nafsi na mioyo yetu jioni ya leo bwana tunapoketi meza ni kwa mfalme tunaomba ya kwamba utambea pamoja na simokozi katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaalika nguvu za roho wako mtakatifu zikazidi kutawala mahali hapa katika jina la Yesu asante kwa mtumishi wako tunashukuru kwa sababu ya uaminifu wako juu ya maisha yake bwana tunashukuru kwa kibali na neema ambao umeachilia juu ya maisha yake tunashukuru maana hata leo bwana unaenda kumtumia kwa utukufu wa jina lako tunamwombea kibali chako tunamwombea mafuta mabichi tunamwombea ufunguo wa pingu katika jina la Yesu anaposimama kwenye mababu haya ukamtumie sawa sawa na mapenzi yako katika jina la Yesu tunambarikisha bele zako asante ni kwa sababu ya wapendwa hawa mama Mungu na wanda umeenda mbele kwa sababu yao wabariki na hata wahudumie maana wewe ni mwaminifu pokea sifa maana hakuna kama wewe tunakushangilia na kukutukuza maana hakuna mungu mwingine kama wewe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi tunaomba na kuamini karibuni kwa mkutano wetu wa revival praise the name of the living god tulisema ni mkutano wa kutiana nguvu na kutiana moyo haleluya ya kwamba lazima tuendelee bwana yesu asifiwe ya na jua bwana atazidi kutubariki maana ametuletea kwenye mlima wake hata leo jana tulianza ujumbe wa pressing on na leo nataka niongee kuhusu matokeo ya ku press on mambo ambayo hufanyika wakati tunakaza mwendo praise the name of the living god tulisema tusizimie tusikate tamaa tuzidi kuendelea kumwamini Mungu tuzidi kuendelea kumchua haleluya tuzidi kuendelea kumpenda praise the name of the living god maana paulo anasema ya kwamba sijidhani kuwa nimefika sijidhani kuwa nimekamilika lakini jambo moja ninafanya ninasahau yaliyo nyuma nikikaza mwendo haleluya na kuyachuchumia yaliyo mbele praise the name of the living god kwa hiyo na leo nataka tuangalie yale utendeka watu wanapokaza mwendo amen bwana yesu asifiwe kuna mambo hufanyika wakati watu wanakuwa na ile hali ya kukaza mwendo wanakuwa na ile hali ya kuendelea hawasiki kuachilia hata kama hali zinakaa namna gani bado wanasikia kumwamini Mungu haleluya bado wanasikia kumtumainia yeye praise the name of the living god mwisho wa mambo hayo kuna matokeo mema utendeka amen bwana yesu asifiwe kuna watu kwa maandiko walikaza walikuwa na hali mbalimbali zilizokuwa katika maisha yao na ilionekana ni kana kwamba hawatafaulu ku, kupata msaada lakini kwa sababu ya wao kukaza haleluya walipata msaada walipata matokeo praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe mnakumbuka kuna mtu aliyekaa katika kisima cha bendisida miaka 30 na minane huyo mtu jambo moja linafurahia ni kwamba alikaza kukama alipale haleluya kulikuwa na sababu nyingi za kufanya aondoke kulikuwa na sababu nyingi za kufanya arudi nyumbani lakini akasema hapa siondoki amen maana nalikuja hapa nibarikiwe nalikuja hapa nipone amen nalikuja hapa shida zangu zifike mwisho praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe akakaza kukama alipale miaka 30 na minane wengine wakaja wakatendewa wengine wakaja wakakata tamaa wakaondoka wengine wakaja wakasema hata nikana kwamba mambo haya sio kweli haleluya lakini huyu jamaa aliendelea kukaa amen wapendwa tukaze mwendo tuendelee kukaa mahali bwana ametuita tuendelee kukaa mahali bwana ametutengenezea 
Nikwambia jitweke kodoro lako na utembee. Amen. Na muujiza wake ukatendeka. Praise the Lord of God. Salamia tuambie usiache kukaza mwendo. Muujiza wako unakuongozea hapa mbele. Hapa mbele kuna muujiza wako. Hapa mbele kuna pretu yako. Hapa mbele kuna utukufu wako. Hapa mbele kuna neema kubwa ambayo Bwana ameweka. Haleluya. Kaza mwendo. Praise the Lord of the God. Kuna mambo utendeka kama hujamange kata tamaa. Aondoke kwa ile kizima. Yawezekana angeishi akiwa kiwete na angekufa akiwa kiwete. Amen. Lakini shukuru na uwepo wake aliendelea kukaa pale. Aliendelea kujikaza. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Angalia ni mwambie ni ndio na uwete, lakini jikaze tu, jikaze. Haleluya. Haleluya. Jikaze. Kuna siku ile uwete itashughulikiwa. Kuna siku ile udhaifu itaondolewa. Kuna siku ile usito itashughulikiwa. Praise the name of the living God. Akajikaza akakaa kwenye kisima Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tusiondoke nyumbani mwa Mungu. Tujikaze. Chosho. Tujikaze. Hata kama iko shida, kuja tu kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Hata kama hali zinakaa vile zinakaa, kuja nyumbani mwa Bwana. Jikaze kuwa nyumbani mwa Bwana. Haleluya. Daudi anasema jambo moja nimelitaka na ndilo mtakalo litafuta. Nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku so utafakari usuri wake haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe kukuja kwa nyumba ya mungu si rahisi lakini vizuri kukaza mwendo amen kaza mwendo wa kwenda ushirika kaza mwendo wa kuomba kaza mwendo wa kutafuta mungu maana hapo mbele kuna matokeo hapo mbele kuna mambo bwana anaenda kufanya maana yeye sio mdalimu angalia jirani mwambie mungu si mdalimu Sumwambie vizuri mwambie Mungu si mdalimu. Ukikaza mwendo utaona uaminifu wake. Haleluya. Praise the name of the living God. Tayari tusome watu watatu kwa maandiko ninapofundisha matokeo yanayopatikana tunapokaza mwendo. Marko 5 kuanzia mstari wa 24. Kuna mama hapa alikuwa na shida ya kutokwa na damu. Miaka Kumi na miwili praise the name of the living god miaka kumi na miwili haikuwa rahisi alikuwa na shida ya kutokwa na damu na ilimletea aibu ikamletea fedheha na ikamletea hata umaskini amen lakini nashukuru huyu mama katika hali yake bado alikaza mwendo amen hakuacha kutazamia uponyaji hakuacha kutazamia kukuondoka kwa aibu yake aliendelea kukaza mwendo praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe na maandiko yanasema siku moja alipatana na muujiza wake haleluya marko 5 kwa daftari la 24 maandiko yanasema so jesus went with him a large crowd followed and praised around him and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for was subject to bleeding for 12 years she had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had yet instead of getting better she grew worse when she heard about Jesus she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak and because because She thought if I just touch his clothes I will be healed immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was free from her suffering at once Jesus realized that the power had gone out from him he turned around in the crowd and asked who touched my clothes you see the people crowding against you his disciple answered and yet you can ask who touched me but Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it then the woman knowing what had happened to her came and fell at his feet and trembled with fear and told him the whole truth he told he said to her daughter your faith has healed you go in peace 
and be free from your sufferings. Amen. To some Marco, come then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples uh, as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leading the city a blind man but Timaeus that is the son of Timaeus was sitting by the roadside begging when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to shout Jesus son of David have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call, call him. So they called uh, to the blind. So they called to the blind man, Cheer up on your feet. He is calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, say to Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. To some Luka Kumina Nane, Luka Kumina Nane, Mstari wa pili na watatu. Bibili na seba hivi, luka kumina nane, mstari wa pili na watatu. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. Maybe to the dogo. For some time he refused. But he finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. Praise the name of the living God. What I just want to feel. How about I want to attack to about the Mesoma and the Yao? Ambao mana aminisaidia ni watumie ni kuoneshe matokeo yanayopatikana wakati tuna press on praise the name of the living god wakati tuna kaza mwendo hapa kuna mama aliyetokwa na damu miaka kumi na miwili aliteseka alienda kwa madaktari wakajaribu kumsaidia lakini hakukupatikana suluhisho amen shida yake ilizidi kuwa mbaya praise the name of the living god wakati mwingine tunaweza jaribu kutafuta suluhisho na badala ya mambo kuwa mazuri yanaharibika amen lakini hiyo sio sababu ya kukata tamaa haleluya hiyo sio sababu ya kuacha kuendelea kumwamini Mungu hiyo sio sababu ya kuacha kutazamia matendo ya Bwana katika maisha yako haleluya maandiko yanasema huyu mama akateseka kwa mikono ya madaktari wengi huyu Yeah. 
Yesu asifiwe. Tulikuwa na sababu nyingi ya huyu mama kusema po hata Yesu watu wamemzunguka ni wengi sana. Lakini akasema hapa hivyo nitakaza. Angalia jina la mbe kaza. Mbe kaza. Praise the name of the living God. Huyu mama kama hange kaza, hangeondoka kwa shida yake, hangeondoka kwa udhaifu aliyokuwa nao. Tunaweza kuwa na madhaifu mengi wapendwa, lakini inategemea kama unakaza kushongea mahali suluhisho yako inapatikana. Kama unakaza kushongea mahali jawabu ya udhaifu wako uko. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Mama akajikaza. Mama akajikaza. Na kutoka na damu miaka kumi na mbili si rahisi. Hata mwili wake inawezekana ulikuwa mdhaifu, lakini akasema hata hivyo nitajikaza. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Salamu mtu mwambie jikaze, jikaze. Haleluya. Usikubali kushindwa. Usikubali kukata tamaa. Usikubali kuacha. Amen. Kaza. Praise the name of the living God. Huyu mama akakazana, akafikia Yesu, akaguza pindi la wazi lake. Maandiko inasema mara hiyo hiyo ugonjwa wake ukakauka, ugonjwa wake ukaisha na akasikia amekuwa huru katika mwili wake. Amen. Nini ilisababisha? Ni ile kukaza. Amen. Kama angeacha kukaza, hangepata uhuru wake. Hangepata muujiza wake. Hangepata kufunguliwa. Haleluya. Wapendwa kuna mambo yanaweza kuwa yametufunga, lakini wajeni tukaze kwa Bwana. Amen. Wajeni tukaze katika imani. Wajeni tukaze katika kutumainia Jehova. Maana mwishowe tutaona matokeo. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Maana yesema huyu mama akasikia amekuwa huru. Ugonjwa wake ukakauka. Shida zake zikafika mwisho. Yesu akageuka akasema kuna mtu amenigusa. Kama kuna watu watakuza Yesu ni wale wanakaza. Angalia jina mwambie sio kila mtu anguza Yesu. Eh hey, mwambie sio kila mtu anguza Yesu. Ni wale wana press on. Haleluya. Ni wale wanakaza mwendo. Amen. Ni wale wanajitahidi. Haleluya. Ni wale wanasema sijekubali kukaa kwa hii hali. Nataka kuona mabadiliko. Nataka kuona utofauti. Nataka kuona matokeo. Haleluya. Praise the name of the living God. Mama akakaza na akamguza Yesu. Yesu akageuka akasema kuna mtu ameniguza. Kuna mtu ameniguza. Yoke jina la Mungu umuulize umwahi kuza Yesu. Muulize 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 umwahi kuza Yesu hapa tu huko tu. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu akamwambia mke ule mama, akamwambia daughter, your faith has healed you. Amen. Hiyo imani ya kujikaza, hiyo imani ya kuzidi kutafuta suluhisho, hiyo imani ya kuzidi kusongea ili upate jawabu ya matatizo yako, imani hiyo imekuponya. Haleluya. Mama akapokea uponyaji, Yesu akamwambia inuka na uende kwa amani. Na usiwe na na, na msiba wako tena. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu mwingine anaitwa Batimayo. Batimayo mwana wa Timayo aliisha kiwa mwombaji na kipofu aliketi kando ya njia na hakuna mtu aliyejali maisha yake lakini Batimayo alijua ya kwamba kuna siku nitatoka kwenye hii hali haleluya na maneno yanasema siku moja Yesu akawa anapita katika njia hiyo ya jeriko na Batimayo akasikia ya kwamba ni Yesu mwana wa Daudi anapita amen akaanza kupasa sauti haleluya akasema Yesu mwana wa wakamwambia nyamaza walipomwambia nyamaza neno ni hili maandiko yanasema akazidi kupaza sauti amen akakaza kupaza sauti haleluya hakuacha watu walimwambia nyamaza watu walijaribu kumshuhia lakini akazidi kupaza sauti amen praise the name of the living god akazidi kupaza sauti hakuacha kumuita yesu hakuacha kumlilia bwana Watu wakamwambia shara, watu wakamwambia unapiga kelele, watu wakamwambia unasumbua mkutano, maandiko yanasema akazidi kupaza sauti. Haleluya. He press on. Amen. Amen. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akasidi kupaswa sauti yake. Yesu akasimama akasema muitee. Kama utasimamisha Yesu lazima utikaze. Lazima uzidi kukaza. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu akasimama akasema muiteni. Batimayo akaitwa na wale waliokuwa na mabia shala wakamuita wakamwambia chipe moyo anakuita. Haleluya. Ninajua kuna watu wengi walitaka Yesu awaongeleshe. Ninajua kuna watu wengi walitaka Yesu awe na pengine na wao. Lakini kwa sababu walishindwa kuzidi kumuita, walishindwa kuzidi ku press on, waliachwa. Haleluya. Lakini huyu aliye press on, Yesu alisimama na akawa na pengine na yeye. Amen. Kuna watu wengi tungependa kuona matendo ya Bwana. Lakini watu wengi tunashindwa ku press Oh. Tunazimia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Watimaya. Mwambie watena na watu wengine. Mwambie we press on. We press on. Haleluya. Watakwambia unajipendekeza, we press on. Watakwambia wewe unajionyesha, we press on. Watakwambia wewe unapenda kanisa sana, we press on. Watakwambia unapenda kuomba sana, we press on. Maana Yesu atasimama ili aweze kukushughulikia, ili aweze kuweka ushuhuda katika kinywa chako. Haleluya. Yesu atasimama, akamuita Matimayo. Matimayo akatupa nguo ya aibu, akamkimbilia Yesu, aibu yake ikafika mwisho kwa sababu ali press on. Naomba watu wa Gosheni tu press on. Naomba waliofika pale pale tu press on. Kuna mambo itabadilika wakati tuna press on. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wakati tunakaza mwendo. Praise the Lord the Lord. Kama Matimayo hangezidi kumuita Yesu. Angeishi na upofu wake. Angeishi na aibu yake. Angeishi kwa ile shida. But thank God akazidi kupasa sauti. Mganizi alimwambia akazidi kupasa sauti. Ah, hiyo kia mtu mwambie zidi kupasa sauti. Mwambie jikaze, jikaze. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usikubali kuzuiliwa. Usikubali kupingwa. Amen. Endelea kumsongea Bwana. Endelea kumwomba Mungu. Endelea kufanya mapenzi ya Bwana. Na Bwana atasimama na atabadilisha mambo. Maana ni mwaminifu. Kuna mama mwingine tumeelezwa hapo katika Luka 18 aliyekuwa mjane lakini kwenye mji kulikuwa na mtu ambaye angeweza kumsaidia. Amen. Na huyu mtu alikataa siku nyingi lakini kwa sababu mama alizidi kumwelea endea. Haleluya. Huyu jamaa alisema hata kama simuchi Mungu na sijali wanadamu kwa sababu ya huyu mama kunijiajia kila wakati nitampendea haki yake. Amen. Huyu mama ni mama aliyekasa. Haleluya. Hakuacha kumwelea huyu jamaa. Alimwelea asubuhi, alimwelea saa sita, alimwelea jioni, alimwelea usiku wa manane, alimwelea asubuhi mapema mpaka jamaa akasema hapana nitampa haki yake. Naomba upresson mpaka upate haki yako. Hautapata kile ambacho hujikazi kukiendea. Hello. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mtu fulani akasema adui hata achilia kile unachotaka hata achilia kile unacho demand bwana Yesu asifiwe huja mama kama angezimia angebaki akiwa ananyanyasa angebaki akiwa atapata haki yake praise the name of the living god lakini alijikaza amen he press on haleluya anatukana asubuhi anarudi saa sita kama mzee bado nimekuja ile kitu haleluya anaomba kaza 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 kuamini kaza kuomba kaza kumwelea bwana kaza kukaa katika nyumba za Mungu praise the name of the living god 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na mwishowe huyu mama alitendewa haki yake. Kwa sababu alikaza kumwendea huyu kadi nabii. Tunaongea kuhusu pressing on. Kukaza kusonga Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha nikupe mambo ambayo utendeka. Tunapo press on. Namba jambo la kwanza we receive our breakthrough. Tunapokea upenyo. Tunapokaza mwenye. Uki, uki give up, you will not get a breakthrough in your life. Breakthrough inaletwa na ku press on. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale watu wana breakthrough ya hukuma, wale watu wana breakthrough ya maisha, ukifuata mambo yao vizuri, utagundua they press on despite the odds. Hallelujah. They press on. Amen. Huyu mama aliyetokwa na damu miaka 12, labda amekufa mapema, lakini he press on. Amen. Aliendelea kuwa na matumaini siku moja nitapona. Siku moja nitatoka kwa yaibu. Siku moja jina langu litabadilika. Hallelujah. He press on. He press on. He press on until the day came. Amen. And she had the breakthrough. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukiona mtu ana breakthrough, wacha kutamani breakthrough yake. Jua ilitokea wapi? Breakthrough yake ni tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Upenyo haukuji tu. Ukiona mtu amepenya kwa biashara, ukiona mtu amepenya kwa huduma, ukiona mtu amepenya kwa wito fulani, nataka nikwambie kuna ku press on. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is no breakthrough without pressing on. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ngaje jana mwenye kama unataka upenyo lazima press on. Hallelujah. Na kila mmoja wetu ana opportunity ya kuwa na upenyo katika maisha yake. You have an opportunity to have a breakthrough. Amen. Ku breakthrough ni kumaanisha kuna upinzani, lakini unaweza pasua katikati. Amen. Na utokee na mambo mengine. Praise the name of the living God. Upende. Amen. Na uingie mahali Bwana anataka uingie. Inaletwa na pressing on. Pressing Bwana ananikumbusha kuhusu Yoshua. Walipokuwa tayari. Maana hiyo nasema kuta za Yeriko zilikuwa zimezunguka na malango yake yalikuwa yamefungwa kwa sababu ya Israeli. Haikuwa imefungwa kwa sababu ya watu wengine. Ilikuwa imefungwa kwa sababu ya nani? Israeli wasiingie. Na Mungu akamwambia jamaa, "We are going to press on." Hata kama kuta zimejengwa na malango yamefungwa ya Yeriko kuna mbibi ya kufaulu kupata breakthrough. Haleluya. So kukene kila siku mara moja tunarudi nyumbani. Na mtu asiongee siku ya pili, siku ya tatu, siku ya tano, siku ya sita, siku ya saba, zungukeni mara saba. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua si rais. Uenda mahali unazunguka na uongee. Ukasha ukabushi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku ya pili tena unaamkia kazi ya kuzunguka. Na ujue hiyo ukuta ni kama ilikuwa ni ukuta ni ni ni, ni, ni kilomita kadhaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Lakini wali press on. Aha. Waka press on siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili, siku ya tatu, siku ya nne, siku ya tano, siku ya sita, siku ya saba, mara saba ukuta ukaanguka. Wakaingia, wakateka nyara. Haleluya. Wakawa na breakthrough kwa sababu ya pressure. Naomba Mungu akupe daima ya ku pressure. Maana kuna breakthrough yako mbele katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Kuna breakthrough ya kufaulu, kuna breakthrough ya ushindi, kuna breakthrough ya mambo mazuri iko mbele. Amen. Press on. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Breakthrough number 1. Number 2. When we press on, we experience interventions of God. When we press on, we experience interventions of God. Tunapo press on, tunaona mungu wa kiingilia kati. Ukikosa ku press on, you will miss the interventions of God. Mungu wa nataka ingilia kati maisha yetu. Huyo mama kama angekata tamaa, angekufia kwa nyumba yaki. 
Lakini kwa sababu ya kupressa on. Akaenda kwa yule daktari akafikiri atapona hakupona. Akaenda kwa yule mwingine hakupona. Baka Mungu akaingilia. Haleluya. Yesu akacha na jamaa akapona. Mama akapona. Amen. Yule jamaa aliyekaa katika kizima cha medicine alipress on. Alitarajia watu wao watamsaidia. Wakachoka wakamwacha. Watu wengine wakija wanamshinda kuingia ndani ya maji. Haleluya. Lakini akasema hapa sio doti. I will press on until I get my miracle. God intervened. Yes. Hapo ruka kwa ile maji wengine walikuwa wanakuka. Mm-hmm. Aliamua inuka, nitoke kwa ndoto yako na utembee. Mm-hmm. When you press on, God will intervene. Mm-hmm. You will see the interventions of God. Mm-hmm. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumekuwa tukipress on kujenga kanisa letu la Gorofa. And God has been intervening. Amen. Tumeona Mungu ana intervene. Hata wakati kunaonekana kama hakuna pesa, tunaona neema zinashuka. Tunaona pesa tu. Hallelujah. Tunaona neema na kibali. Bwana, we are pressing on. We are pressing on. Wanasema uchumi ni mbaya, we are pressing on. Wanasema ni kama kutakuwa mabaya na we are pressing on. And when you press on, Mungu ana intervene. Wala nyingine tunataka kuona Mungu because we are not pressing on. Tumezimia. Tumechoka. Tumeachilia tunasema yende bila itaenda. Hapana, press on. Press on. Aitaenda bila itaenda. We are pressing on until we see the faithfulness of God. Praise the name of the living God. Salamia mtumwambie Mungu ataingilia kati. Unapoendelea kukaza mwendo. Hallelujah. Hataingilia kati hiyo jamii yako. Ataingilia kati hiyo hali yako. When you are pressing oh. Oh. when you are pressing oh. Una watu walikuja kwa Yesu. Kwa mm-hmm. Mungu ananikumbusha hao watu. Walikuwa wanaokoma kumi. Walikimwambia Yesu tuponye. Tuondolee ukoma. Turehemu. Yesu aliwaambia endeni mkajionyeshe kwa makuhani. Walipokuwa wakienda wakataka sika. Sikia walipokuwa wakienda walipokuwa wana press on. <laughs> walipokuwa wakienda wakataka sika kukawa na intervention ya Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Salamia so, mtumwambie endelea katika jina la Yesu. Na Mungu ataingilia. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jambo la tatu. We receive the answer of our prayers when we press on. Tunapokea majibu ya maombi when we are pressing on ilikuwa ni ombi ya huyu mama damu yake ikome ilikuwa ni ombi ya batimayo macho yake yaone ilikuwa ni ombi ya huyu mama apokee haki yake haleluya maombi yalijibiwa alipokuwa na press on praise the name of the living god wakati mwingine tunataka Mungu ajibu maombi lakini tumesimama tumeacha ku press no Mungu anataka uendelee Wanaweza sasa. Unakumbuka Waisraeli walipofika katika bahari ya Shamu. Mbele kuna bahari, nyuma kuna jeshi. Mungu akamwambia Musa, "Aambia watu waende mbele." Sasa wanaenda wapi? Imagine hapo mahali kuna njia bado kuna sema press on. Press on. Wacha kusimama. Press on. Songa endelea. Amen. Hata kama kunaonekana ni giza, hata kama kunaonekana hakuna njia wewe endelea unapoendelea utaona chini ya maombi bwana yesu asifiwe na jua wengine wanatamani kuwe na njia walipoanza kuendelea njia ikafanyika kukawa na njia wakapita katika nchi kavu kwa sababu ya press on praise the name of the living god bwana yesu asifiwe wale watu wana press on they receive the answers of their prayers hata maombi mengine uliyoma na utasahau na unakumbuka wao kuna siku nilikuwa yopa hii and God has done it hallelujah kuna siku wakati niliomba hii na Mungu amekucha amen because you are pressing on jambo la lapo jambo la ile when we press on we see the fulfillment of God's promises when we press on we see the fulfillment of God's promises tunapokaza mwendo tunapoendelea tunaanza kuona ahadi za Mungu zikitimia. Ahadi za Mungu azitimii kwa watu ambao wamekwama. Ahadi za Mungu zinatimia kwa watu wanao press on. 
Yeshua na kale waliona wakirini inchi kwa sababu they press on. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na unajua bila ya sababu nini? Ahadi zote za Mungu ni kweli na Ahadi zote za Mungu ni kweli na bila. Lakini inategemea are you pressing on? Are you pressing on? Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana unaendelea kwa imani. Bado unaendelea kutumainia. Bado unaendelea kutafuta mapenzi yake. Haleluya. Bado unakata mwendo. Maana Mungu yuko ready to fulfill the promises. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndio Bwana anasema katika kitabu cha Zaburi kwamba ahadi za Mungu hazivunjiki. Amen. Ahadi za Mungu ni za bila. Amen. Ni za milele. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Lakini wale wana ahadi za Mungu zikitimia ni wale wanao press on. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ni wale wanao press, ni wale wanao kasa mwendo, ni wale wanao endelea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of God. Jambo lingine ni kwamba you will have a new testimony when you press on. You will have a new testimony. Utakuwa na ushuhuda mpya. Watu wanao kasa mwendo, they have new testimonies in their lives. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah, the people that press on. Huyu mama alirudi nyumbani akisema wapendwa nimepona. But mama alirudi akiambia watu ninaona. Haleluya. Huyu mama ambaye alikuwa amenyimwa haki alirudi akisema nimetendewa. Amen. Kwa sababu alikaza mwendo. Hawakuzimia, hawakukata tamaa, waliendelea. Praise the Lord of the Lord. Naomba Mungu akusaidie na anisaidie ya kwamba tutazidi kuendelea. Tutazidi kukaza mwendo tazidi kutumainia tutazidi kumwamini Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Paulo anasema jambo moja linalofanya ni kukaza mwendo maana bado sijakamilika na bado sijapokea jambo la mwisho tunapokaza mwendo we will experience eh, the manifestations of God's glory in our lives tutaona madirisho ya utukufu wa Mungu katika maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama kuna kitu Mungu anataka kionekane kwa maisha yako ni his glory. Haleluya. Utukufu wake udhihirike kwenye maisha yako. Na ndioona wakati mmoja Musa alikaza, akakaza, akapanda kwa mlima, akaingia ndani ya uwingu, akakaa kule siku 40 mchana na usiku aliposhuka the glory was shining upon his life haleluya tunamwona Yesu anapanda kwenye mlima anakaza kuomba anaomba uso wake unabadilishwa amen utukufu unaonekana amina tunaona watu kama kina Petro wanakaza kumfuata Yesu baadaye kivuli cha Petro kinapona wagonjwa ni wote wanasimama amen more glory inakuwa manifeste kwa wale wanao press on haleluya inaomba kutakuwa na
majibu ya maombi yetu tukiendelea tutaona utukufu wako ukidhihirishwa katika maisha yetu bwana tukiendelea tutakuwa na ushuhuda mpya katika midomo yetu naombea wazee wa mama na vijana waliofika kwa mkutano wa jioni ya leo wapokee neema ya kuendelea wapokee neema ya kukaza mwendo katika kuamini katika kukutumainia katika kufanya mapenzi yako katika kukutafuta wewe katika kukutumikia wewe ninaomba uwajalie neema ya kuendelea katika jina la Yesu na ile matokeo mazuri ambayo umekusudia wakayaone ndani ya maisha yao wakaone ukiingilia kati hali sawa katika jina la Yesu tumeona watu walioendelea watu waliokaza mwendo jeni bwana ulivyofanya katika maisha yao tunakuomba ndani ya nyumba hii ya kwamba tutakaza mwendo tutaendelea kukutumainia tutaendelea mbele katika kufanya mapenzi yako maana wewe ni mwaminifu maliki wazee maliki wa mama maliki vijana ambao wamesikia neno hili na watakao sikia hata kupitia yale tumerekodi bwana ukawabariki na kuainua katika jina la Yesu wacha kila mmoja wetu akatiwe moyo na akaweze kuendelea asante kwa neno lako bwana kutana na hoja na mahitaji ya watu wako maana wewe ni mwaminifu hakuna mungu kama wewe tunakushangilia kwa neno